Hello everyone, it is Dr. Joel Rosen from Your Adrenal Fix, the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja, and I'm really excited to talk to you today about this episode of Adrenal Fatigue and how it relates to thyroid problems. And I really do believe that the two are, are very, very similar in terms of the mechanics, the breakdown, the symptoms, the wrong diagnosis, the inability to control it if you don't but if you don't focus on the key contributing factors that are, are causing the, um, the breakdowns of, of the endocrine gland. And, and the common theme really is stress. And so whether that stress is physical, an injury, trauma, a repetitive nature of your job, or, or just wear and tear, or that stress is emotional um, from, from a family, from a loved one, from a, from a boss, from a spouse, to finances, to loans, to mortgages, to chemical stress, which is the environment. I mean, thousands of pollutants in the air, aluminums in our deodorants and pesticides and arsenic and electric magnetic frequencies. So I want to tell you something. I, I originally had this book. It was called, Why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms When My Lab Tests Are Normal? Be brought to me by an acupuncturist patient of mine. And I had just injured my back and I was exhausted and I was fatigued. And he brought this book into me. It's called, Why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms When My Lab Tests Are Normal? And you could pretty much substitute that to why do I still have brain fog even though my lab tests are normal? Why can't I lose weight even though my blood tests are normal? Why do I have fatigue even though my blood tests are normal? You get the idea. So he brought this into me and I really thought I didn't have a thyroid problem. And so I finally read the book after having it sit on my, on my bookshelf for about a month. And then I opened it up, started reading it and realized, oh my goodness, this is me to a T. And the section that really resonated with me was the adrenal fatigue part. So that's how I got this whole website going, this whole blog going, my whole Facebook site going because I didn't even realize after having two undergraduate degrees and a doctorate degree that I suffered from a condition I never even heard of. I was stressed out all the time. I was fatigued. I had brain fog. I was shaky, lightheaded, and jittery because of blood sugar instability issues. I had um, love handles around my midsection. And I was just not able to produce the way I needed to. And so now my life is dedicated to helping patients that are in this exact same situation. And so what I do is I come back to the thyroid basics because the hypothalamus and the pituitary, they both signal the adrenal glands and the thyroid gland. And when that mechanics start to break down, um, then you start getting wrong signaling patterns of those two hormones so that we can have very overlapping symptoms like fatigue and energy and feeling cold and can't lose weight and brain fog and gastrointestinal systems uh, problems. And a lot of these symptoms are very, very well um, related. So I wanted to A, tell you about the link between adrenal glands and thyroid glands and let you know that you should really think about both of them being somewhat of a continuum. Yes, you don't necessarily have to have an autoimmunity or you don't have to have a thyroid problem to have an adrenal problem, but my guess is, is that you probably have thyroid involvement or adrenal involvement. And what that basically means is even though your blood test may be normal from a lab range, it may not necessarily be normal from a functional range, which is a much more narrowly focused range. And that's why you'll have normal blood tests even though you still have symptoms. So that would be the first thing that I would say is, are you sure your blood tests are actually from a functional point of view? Meaning, are you being compared to a healthy person versus are you being compared to an unhealthy person? Uh, number two, have you had all the complete blood tests done? Meaning, have you had antibodies done? Um, have you had gluten tests done? Because I know if you've gone to certain labs and you said, okay, I had tissue transglutaminase or I had a celiac test and I didn't have a gluten reactivity, then, then that doesn't necessarily mean you don't have a thyroid problem. Um, also, the fact is you may not have had thyroid antibodies tested and your TSH was in a functional range, but T4 wasn't measured, T3 wasn't measured, free thyroxine index wasn't measured, T3 uptake wasn't measured, hormonal balances weren't measured, and so it's really hard to say that you have a normal thyroid even though your blood tests are normal. And so I would be skeptical saying that probably if we delved a little bit deeper, we would see that perhaps your blood tests weren't actually normal when you were told that they were. If they were, then great. Then, then potentially you're managing your thyroid, but you're not managing the adrenal stressors or the chronic stress response that's causing your, your adrenal to to not come back. So anyways, what I do is I do have a free workshop coming up this 
Thursday. It's completely free. It's a teleseminar uh, on how to recover from an adrenal fatigue and, and optimize your thyroid. We'll be talking about why your blood tests are normal. We'll be talking about the relationship between the thyroid and the adrenals. We'll be talking about 80% of the time what people have with a thyroid problem that doesn't allow the medications to work properly. And then we'll also be talking about um, supplements that you can be using right, right now to help clean to help with your adrenals and your thyroid problem and I mean guarantee they're not what you think. So anyways please sign up for my free uh, workshop and, and I look forward to helping you guys recover with your adrenal and your thyroid nightmare. If you like what you heard please give me a thumbs up, a share or a like or make sure you go check out my blog at adrenalfatiguesociety.com. Once again, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen, the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja, dedicated to getting you uh, coming back from your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.